Hey, how are you doing? Um, so, today I wanted to talk to you about handbags. Because I've watched a couple of handbag vlogs um, and I realised I'm not a handbag girl. I don't change my handbag every season. I don't lust after a certain bag. Well, sometimes I do. But I wanted to talk to you about handbags because I'd watched a couple of vlogs and also on a Sunday evening, I settled down to the Sunday Times Style magazine. Um, so I'm delighted that Claudia Winkleman is doing a column. And interestingly, and I think this is what precipitated this, um, she has done a feature on bags. Um, and her dislike, shall we say, for the teeny tiny bag trend. Um, and there is a wonderful line in here, and I'm going to quote this, that says, do you know what a mini bag says? And then she says, let me translate. It says, hello, I'm a tiny bit dim. So that got me thinking about bags. So I wanted to run through my top five favorite bags. Generally, I buy designer bags because they last and because I don't buy that many, I like to have something a little bit special. I love evening bags and clutches and I'm delighted to tell you that a clutch in the evening is fine according to Claudia Winkleman, so what? So my top five bags. When I'm not shopping in H&M or Zara, I am often in Zadig and Voltaire. Um, they have been doing these rock clutches um, I have a couple, I have a green suede one, but this comes in at number five. It's yellow, it's leather, um, and what I like about it is it has this kind of leopard printy sort of leather on top, so it's not overtly animal print, so it's not like it's just a little bit like I don't know what that noise was, anyway. So here we have the metallic, no, magnetic kind of closing thing. Um, there's a pocket in here that has no clasp or zip, but that goes over and there are two zips. Any day bag gets discounted by me if it hasn't got a zip. Now you can take the chain off, I like this chain. I'm not a very big fan of kind of metallic chains, but this one just looks good and it, it's, it's like a flat chain. I don't know if you can see that. Anyway, it's not kind of rough and I really like it and I like the kind of pewtery, heavy duty look. And there are a lot of people that favour black bags. I love colour, I love texture. Um, I do like a leather bag, because this is a leather bag, but I was drawn to this because it's yellow and it has two different sorts of leather and it looks a bit different. This is a really good size. I don't know if Claudia would say this is a teeny tiny bag, but you can get a lot in this bag and stick it under your arm or use the strap or whatever. So Zadig and Voltaire Rock Clutch is my number five fit pick. Okay, number four is a very old Prada bag. Now what I would say, having said that I don't buy bags often and I like to go designer, is I would rarely buy a designer bag um, full price. I will watch things and all the big brands um, and all the big online stores, Harvey Nichols, Netta Porter, Selfridges, Matches, all those really big names and the designer houses themselves will have a really big sale where you might get 30, 40, even 50 or even more percent off. This is a very old bag. I would say it's about seven years old. Um, it doesn't have a zip and I use this in the day and in the evening. It's got a really lovely chunky strap with these lovely huge hoops. It doesn't have a zip but it has this twisty thing and it's got loads of room inside. I can put everything I need in the day in here. Um, and then there is at the back a zip pocket. Anyway, this is my number four pick. Prada, gorgeous, red, goes with everything. Okay, number three is red as well. I love, love, love Alexander McQueen. What I would say is, don't be afraid of colour. I adore colour and I like matching things and I like clashing things. And I think the beauty of fashion these days is that anything goes. So this is 
pre-Alexander McQueen passing away, yep. all bags will come with some sort of dust bag or protective things. My Alexander McQueen clutch I'm about to show you comes in a box and a dust bag. I mean, this is, for me, this is the thing of beauty. It has structure, but it's not too boxy. It's a red satin clutch with just a lovely little logo. I'm not a huge logo fan, but if it's subtle, then that's cool. I don't want it all over the place. Um, this, again, has one of those magnetic clasp opening things. Can you see that there? It only has one compartment and I've kept the tissue in there just to hold its shape so it doesn't become too flat. I probably couldn't get as much in it as I would my Prada day or night bag. However, I just feel so special when I put my stuff in this. And you actually do get quite a lot in because it's quite long. So that is five, four, three, number three. It's old, but it's never leaving me. But if my daughter's very good, she might get it at some point, possibly. Number two, this is a really difficult one, but I am going to go with my current day bag. This is just lovely. I, I adore suede, okay? This is a beautiful blue Balenciaga bag. Um, I think Claudia would be very proud of me because this is a decent sized bag. I would say this is about as big a bag as I would buy because I actually have to say I favour smaller bags because the bigger your bag, the more you put in it and you end up lugging around a suitcase. There is nothing bad I can tell you about this bag. This bag is suede, but it's weathered beautifully. I have this as my secret weapon for anything suede. This is my father's. My, my father was a very stylish man and he used to keep his stuff beautifully. This is his suede brush, which I think one of his brothers gave him as well. And if I see a little scuff, I can just suede brush it off. This is secure and safe. There are so many zips. There are zips and pockets and zips and everything. And there's room. There's a lot of room. I love this bag and this is my day bag. It's been my day bag for quite a while and I can't see it changing. So that's number two, my lovely, lovely suede Balenciaga bag that goes with me everywhere. Here is number one, Fendi. Definitely not bought at full price. This is, I think, their baguette bag, which I think is a pretty iconic thing. Again, here is their logo done in beautiful crystals. But I think if you didn't know Fendi, you wouldn't know that that was a logo, so it's okay. This is satin, but the strap and this little bit on the, uh, on the clasp is leather. So it's black. It's one of my few black bags. It's actually a really decent size. It's quite, I would say it's big for an evening bag, um, but it is an evening bag with this bling, and I don't do much bling on clothes or bags or shoes. Um, I would save this for evening. and even though I did get it at reduced, reduced price in a sale, um, I really want to look after it, so I wouldn't just take it out in the day and whatever. Again, there's quite a lot of room. It's got this beautiful, just lovely kind of orangey ochre. I would say that's ochre, actually, between yellow and orange lining. And it's got a little mirror, which I've never used, actually, but it has a little mirror with Fendi on the back. Probably just as well I haven't used that, because if I got that out in the evening after a few cocktails, oh lord, I wouldn't want seven years bad luck. Um, and there's a zip here. Gotta have a zip. So, this is my number one pick. So having said I'm not a handbag girl, I do love the bags I have. I don't think we all have to buy loads of everything. Um, I would say with handbags, I certainly find if you save a bit of money and buy something gorgeous, it lasts and you look after it, keep the suede nice, make sure stains are taken off as quickly as possible, keep them in the dust bag um, and they'll serve you for years and years and years. Um, I would love to know your favourite bags, um, I would love to know if you've seen something that's going to come up in the sale and that you've got your eye on. Um, anyway, I'm going to fly, have a great day, I hope um, this was interesting, entertaining, informative something, one of the above, and um, I'll see you soon. Take care.